Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Apache Hive interview questions, today we'll look at the Hive architecture and the detailed internals of the Apache Hive. So guys, let's see uh, quickly what is Hive. Uh, as we have already discussed in the previous videos that Hive is a data warehouse software uh, which facilitates read and write uh, uh, on the data set which is residing in the distributed file system like HDFS using the SQL-like language called HQL. So primarily it's a simple data warehouse which is built on top of Hadoop. Uh, that's why uh, because it's provide a SQL-like language it is also called SQL on Hadoop. Uh, primarily it is uh, facilitated uh, to to make uh, uh, analysis of huge data set uh, easier uh, we can perform ad hoc queries with apache hive and data encapsulation is also supported with the apache hive so guys let's see the component architecture uh, of the apache hive so primarily we can divide the entire Hive product into four components. One is your clients, uh, the different clients which are provided, which can be used to connect with the different uh, Hive services for the query execution. And they have support for uh, Thrift protocol, JDBC and ODBC protocols to for, for the various clients to connect with the Hive services. Um, the second component in the line comes the different Hive services. Uh, which are meant for the uh, execution uh, uh, for, for the execution of the queries creation of the execution plan etc uh, here you have a high web interface a web interface is provided which could be used to submit queries internally there is a hive driver uh, which uh, talked with the metastore uh, Metastore is the RDBMS uh, database which is meant to keep the metadata of the uh, Hive tables. So whenever you project any schema on top of your HTML files and create a table out of it, that table metadata goes into the Metastore. Uh, by default it is implemented by Apache uh, Derby database and then in the uh, services component it is also provided the command line interface to submit different commands to the Hive system. Uh, next component is your uh, compute, your data processing and uh, resource management. Uh, Hive supports three uh, execution engine, uh, engines as present, Apache Tails, Apache Spark and MapReduce. And uh, the resource management used in the Hive is the Yarn. Uh, as we know, it is built on top of Hadoop. So under uh, underlying it has a distributed storage primarily in the form of HDFS, though it can also uh, work on top of Apache HBase as well. But uh, primarily Hive is meant for, uh, you know, created for uh, the Hadoop ecosystem, SQL and Hadoop uh, solution. So guys, these are the four components uh, for the Hive. Uh, this there we have quickly reiterated what all these components are. Uh, Hive client, which was like the first component, gives you an external interface for clients to submit different queries and uh, perform different uh, data read and writes. Uh, it supports uh, languages like C++, Java, and Python. And Hive services, as we have already discussed, provide services for like web interface, CLI, uh, Metastore, uh, Hive driver, etc., to prepare an execution plan and uh, uh, perform queries. Uh, execution engines as we have already seen uh, are in the form of Apache, Spark and Tails and resource management is done through Hadoop. Resource management is uh, done through Yarn. Now guys let's see how the data flow, how the execution at a granular level happens in the Hive. Suppose you submit some query or data retrieval uh, or say some uh, DML or DDL through uh, through the CLI or say uh, web client or say any other client using a programmatical uh, code piece. So first thing uh, which happens is the interacts with driver. Then driver interacts with the compiler. Uh, compiler uh, interacts with Metastore and produces the execution plan for the query. And then finally that execution plan is sent to the execution engine through the driver uh, which interacts with the distributed storage and uh, apply that uh, uh, data analysis 
or execute that query on top of that data so guys we'll see this data flow in detail so the first thing which happens is say you submit a particular query uh, some read write command through the cli or client then driver creates a session handler for that particular query and uh, through that session handler the query is sent to the compiler to generate an execution plan compiler then interacts with the meta store uh, in the form of uh, it calls an api called get metadata and then uh, meta, uh, meta store respond with the metadata information back to the compiler uh, now in the third step post that now compiler uses its metadata information coming from meta store uh, to check the expression in the query and uh, and finally an execution uh, plan is created in the form of dag stages and uh, these e these stages eventually will be either a map reduce job or some kind of a metadata operation or a operation on top of your file system so it can be all these DAG stages can be categorized into three these three categories. Uh, post that uh, execution engine submitted all these DAG stages to the uh, appropriate uh, components for uh, <coughs> for generating a physical plan and uh, each task which is uh, uh, initiated in the map reduce execution has a deserialized uh, Lizer associated with each table and uh, that deserializer produces the intermediate outputs. These intermediate outputs are kept on the uh, temporary location in the HDFS and once all the task finishes uh, then the, it uh, reduces all the intermediate tasks and move it to the tables location in the HDFS for DML operations. Then this is the location where finally execution engine uh, reads this temporary output data and query execution is performed and result is written back to the driver so that's how the uh, uh, execution flow or data flow happens in hive from client to driver driver to compiler compiler uses metastore to generates an execution plan that execution plan is then submitted to execution engine through a driver then the execution engine uh, based on that execution plan interacts with the underlying data which is in the hdfs and performs the query execution return the result data back to the driver and driver finally returns it to the client so guys that's it in this particular video about hive internals let's quickly conclude that hive is a data warehouse solution on hadoop primarily meant for doing read writes and managing large data sets in the distributed file systems and it is uh, it provides you a number of different clients drivers in the form of trip protocol jdbc and odbc to for clients to connect and submit the queries and query execution is performed through the map reduce parentage in the hype so guys that's it have a good day bye bye